back again. It's Catherine House with House of Wine here to speak another wonderful about another wonderful wine from our Northern Spain set. This wine today is the 2018 Petalos from the Descendientes de Jose Palacios brand. And this brand is a really interesting brand because it combines the knowledge and interest of Alvaro Palacios, who of course is a descendant of Jose Palacios, as well as his nephew, Ricardo Perez. And the two of them together decided they wanted to make a wine made from Mencia, which is the primary grape. 95% uh, of this wine is made of Mencia. And that's located, this variety is grown in the Bierzo region in northwestern Spain. So they wanted to make this wine and they started making the wine in 1999 was the first vintage. And since that time, they have really brought uh, a light to Mencia. Mencia is a variety that tends to have a lot of bright red fruit notes and as well as lifted acidity and a, kind of a light style and really refreshing. And so they made uh, Mencia more interesting, I think, by doing a couple different things. Sometimes by itself, it can be watery and overlooked, but really great Mencia can have more intensity to it like this wine does. And um, a hint of oak as well provides a little bit of texture and interest. These grapes are organically produced and the wine, uh, the grapes are made as sustainable as possible. The vineyards are maintained and the grapes are picked then they're destemmed and crushed and fermented on the skins for anywhere between 25 and 35 days, so a longer period of time. And that's how you get this beautiful medium ruby color. And with that color, you also get those nice red fruit notes, kind of some cherry, red plum, a hint of raspberry, as well as a little bit of thyme and, and maybe some rosemary in there. And you get a great aromatic lift. It's got a good brightness to the wine. When you taste the wine, as you're going to taste right now with me, you'll find the wine is lighter in body than something like Alvaro Palacios Priorats. And the alcohol is lower as well. But even those two things, the wine is pretty consistent from the beginning to end. It's nice and fruity and it has that lifted acidity and lighter body that we mentioned, and it has a nice long finish. And there are some tannins in that finish, partly from skins likely for the extended contact that the juice had with those skins, along with the oak treatment. And this wine saw eight months in oak. And so it has a little bit of oak, kind of that vanilla note, a little bit of cedar as well making this wine a wonderful pairing for lots of different foods because it is lighter in style, so it doesn't necessarily need a really heavy steak or something like that. It can pair uh, really well once slightly chilled, I would say, like a Beaujolais um, is how I would serve it. It can pair really well with a variety of foods, anything from, I would say, a heartier fish dish to something that's even a lighter protein, maybe a roasted chicken or something like that. But it's a wine that I really quite enjoy. I've liked so far, I've had three different vintages and liked all of them. And I really do admire Alvaro Palacios and the work that he does. And I think this is another great wine to enjoy in the Northern Spain set. So I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Cheers.